Hey guys, it's me, Kill Stealer, with Noob Alert. I'm here with Joe and Max, uh, the founders of Humans vs. Zombies. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Yeah. We're great. Hey, good. So why don't you tell everybody at home uh, what your game's all about? Sure. So Humans vs. Zombies is a game of moderated tag. It's played all over the world, mostly at colleges and universities, but also military bases, summer camps, neighborhood festivals and events like E3 and IndieCade. Uh, so, so why would the military be uh, interested in this game? Well, uh, Humans vs. Zombies kind of puts you in a survival situation. And, you know, I'm not sure because I've never been in the military, but, uh, I mean, I yeah, I can talk about that a little bit. So hum the way Humans vs. Zombies works, all the players start on the same team as humans, and one player is the original zombie. So they try and build up their zombie army by tagging people, and the humans defend themselves with socks and Nerf guns. So why people in the military have gotten into it, it's a great team-building exercise. You get this great camaraderie with the people you're playing with, and you're saving each other's lives and watching each other's backs. And on both teams, you have to work together or you just won't survive. Um, plus, you get to play with Nerf guns or yeah. paintball yeah. guns, so yeah, that's that's always, that's always great. I've heard at the military bases they do play with paintball guns, yeah. or certain ones. So. You know, and it's it's kind of interesting that you know we find out that the military is using this game because you know um, it made national net headlines that the CDC was using like zombie outbreaks to kind of prepare people for disaster situations, like using that kind of framework. Yeah. Well, we were, we were named uh, a couple of years ago the number one threat to America by Stephen Colbert because we were, we were yes, because we were, the, we were well, he said we were the boy crying zombie because we were, we were desensitizing the public to the dangers of a real zombie outbreak. And then once it happens, we're just all screwed anyway, thanks to you guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, take that. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, I'm pretty good with a Nerf gun, so. <laughs> so, if that, you're, so you're covered. The rest yeah. of us, hey, we just yeah. go, yeah. One long, long shot tall. So, so what was your real inspiration for, for making this game? Where did the idea really come from? Well, it actually came from our friend Chris and Brad's dorm room. Unfortunately, they can't make it. Um, yeah, whatever, Chris. Um, and, uh, I mean, we, there had been a lot of, like, kind of assassin games going on, and uh, they kind of wanted to take it a step deeper. So they came up with Humans vs. Zombies. And uh, the first game had about 70 players. And then, you know, it causes a lot of excitement. So you see your friends playing Humans vs. Zombies, you want to join. So the next game, I think it had like 150, and then the game after it had 200. And then it started popping up all over the place. Nice. And, you know, you guys are talking, I mean, obviously you guys are indie developers. What was your background going into this? Are you guys computer science people? Are you guys lit majors? I mean, what's going on? Uh, well, we have a lot of different backgrounds. Joe does computer science, so we have a lot of CS people. I have a philosophy degree, so I'm just glad that there's anything that I can do <laughs> that doesn't involve asking if you want fries with that. Um, but uh, yeah, we just have like a lot of weird backgrounds, and this thing has kind of um, ballooned into a crazy project, so uh, it's really exciting. Right, I mean, and maybe that's a testament to, you know, the way video games have evolved, where now it's just not, you know, two nerds getting together, no yeah. offense, I'm a comp sci guy too. Um, but you know, not two nerds getting together making games. You really need that whole, the whole perspective that you know people with philosophy majors or lit majors yeah. are coming in, you know, doing things. Well, there's there's also a part of you know what we love about humans versus zombies is it's a game in the real world and you're outside in the sunlight with real people having a real experience, um, and it's all organized online. But there's still that real like like primal fun nature. Uh, and I think just walking around E3, that seems to be something that a lot of these developers have sort of forgotten, which is giving people like a real... Uh, like a, a tangible real, experience. Yeah, like a real valuable experience where, you know, you can get emotional and you can get into it and it, it just feels like something epic that's happening. And Joe, last question. If anybody wants to get any more information, you guys have a website or Twitter set up? Our website is uh, humansversuszombies.org. There you're going to find a lot of really great tools and uh, resources that we have. Everywhere from a press kit to a, g a game guide that can take you step by step on how to start your own game. And we also have uh, some free software that'll help you organize your large scale game of humans versus zombies. We're also going to be at the Indie Paid, uh, sorry. We're also going to be at the Indiecade Festival of Independent Games in Culver City the weekend of October 9th, along with these awesome games. Last year, we had an epic game. We took over the entire city of Culver with a zombie infection. This year, it's only going to be better. So any uh, noob uh, viewers in the LA area, come down to Culver City. It's going to be a ton of fun. We had a huge epic game last year, and we would love you to be part of it. We probably had like 400 people playing with us last year. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is pretty epic. Uh, well, guys, we appreciate the time, and uh, best of luck to you, Joe. Uh, you too, Max. And uh, thanks again.